Yo, you see any good in there? Oh, Richard, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah. You see any good in there, or uh, are you just hungry, or are you really kind of not sleeping well? Well, I'm hungry. I was hoping to find some more of that chocolate cream pie. Out of luck. Got it right here. Uh, Early bird gets the pie. Mm. But you know, there is still some uh, some whipped cream in there. Apparently made it up fresh earlier. You can have some of that. I don't think I'm hard up enough to want just whipped cream. You could take some and then spread it on a piece of bread and pretend that it's chocolate cream pie. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think so. That sounds disgusting, but mine. Maybe to you, but not to a vagabond. Good point. Would you like some? Uh, no, thank you. In fact, how much you can offer that to me? You'd spoil the divine taste of chocolate cream pie. Mmm, mm, that's true. So, uh, Richard, mm. when was the last time you saw a doctor? About two minutes ago when you opened the fridge door. Funny. I tried. So, really, when did you last see a doctor? Mm, maybe two months ago when I had a little incident. I don't mean a psychiatrist, Richard. Well, it turns out it wasn't a psychiatrist, it was an ER doctor. You know what I'm trying to say, Richard? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you had a physical to check your overall health? I don't trust them. You don't trust doctors? I don't trust doctors, I don't trust nurses, I don't trust technicians, lawyers, politicians, and the worst of all, I don't trust turnip waxers. Turnip waxers. They are a slippery group of folk. <laughs> Richard, the other people are just trying to help. I don't believe that. I mean, doctors are interested in money. Nurses are mostly interested in doctors. The technicians are just making donuts. And the, and the lawyers and the politicians, oh, they're a slimy bunch. They, they're so self-centered that all they, they'll say anything to try to get you to vote for. Feeling a little down tonight, are you, Richard? Um, uh, I'm actually feeling kind of perky. <laughs> well, I probably have some patients who would agree with what you say about doctors. You know, your patient, that cracks me up. You are a mutant. Very abnormal. Look at this. You are a physician, you work in a clinic in the crappiest part of town. And your patients are, are folks that have even bigger issues than I've got. You're still living with roommates at your age. <laughs> and you drive a 10 year old Prius. What are you, yep. you trying to be a, a Jewish carpenter? No, no. I have a good life and I enjoy the people that I serve. Sir, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is that your first glass of wine? <laughs> oh, I'm a realist, Richard, just trying to do my part. Mm hmm. So you're just trying to score some brownie points with the man upstairs, huh? Or woman? No. I try to help people lead a good life, and I think that's what laws should do. I, I could use some help from the governor. We could use some better laws. I don't know. You're more delusional than I am. What are you trying to say, Richard? Do I have to spell it out for you? Yes. And use good grammar while you do it. All right. Why do you want to become a doctor? Because I wanted to help people. I wanted to make a difference. A difference. Mm -hmm. I think you did it because you're a stinking, bleeding heart liberal. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. And I think that any government from the people, by the people, should be for the people. And Healthcare shouldn't be regulated to your zip code. And would you say that your doctoring is a job or a calling? I would say but it's a calling. Yes. And what are you called to do? To serve, to help, to make a difference. So, are you trying to tell me that I'm the mother hen gathering the chicks, like in today's lesson? No, you dimwit. God's clearly the hen. You're the subcontractor. 
I try to make my own decisions, Richard. Well. And if, sure. And and if I'm the subcontractor, then what are you? I'm glad you asked it. That's a good question because I am the voice crying from the wilderness. Oh, so now you're John the Baptist? Oh, Please. Not that wilderness. I'm sticking Joe, who's stuck in the lowest part of his life in the middle of his book. Richard, do you know what time it is? I'm going to kick you out, and you're going to deserve it. See what I mean? One of Job's friends trying to offer unsolicited advice. Ruth, just back off. Just go away. I'm tight with the Donald. Remember that. Richard! I think it's my work is done here. It's just Richard being Richard. It's okay. I'm going to do it. It's okay. You know, Richard can be such a... Say it, say it. It's right on the tip of your tongue. He's an instigator. Don't you know? That's why he gets kicked out of so many shelters. I know. I know. He just pushes people's buttons. Well, everyone has something that they're really good at. That's what Richard is really good at. He knows that you're a good person and that you're very caring about others. I know. You're the mother hen trying to gather her chicks. No, I'm the subcontractor. Richard, he's the fowl. He's the male chicken. He's a...